Hi guys, something uh, special for you today. We have here what seems to be the remains of a Soviet missile uh, gyro platform. So we have an uh, aluminum disc with uh, sensors mounted on it. There is uh, two of these models with obviously one missing here. You can see the mounting uh, screws and cut wires or two of another uh, kind. I believe these are uh, gyroscopes, single axis gyroscope. It should be mounted in uh, X, Y, Z axis. And uh, two accelerometers in uh, two uh, axis, like so. As the, uh, according to the arrows on, uh, on it. So first about the uh, structural uh, plate. Here we have an uh, aluminum disc, as you can see, we a die cast aluminum with uh, some logo here. It must be the either the factory logo or the material. It says LAL2 in Cyrillic. We have here four mounting screws. We have here one uh, sealed pipe for uh, vacuuming, it seems and uh, electrical connections with uh, 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 glass pass-through. And as you can see, this is uh, sealed with epoxy as this uh, pipe here and the screw heads. And here all around you can see the remains of what seems to be probably an aluminium cover, sealed aluminium cover covering the wall uh, thing. And it looks like it was uh, cut with uh, chisels or something like this. And it did actually do some damage to the cover uh, here, to the internal parts. Okay, now about the wiring of these units. You can see we have a wire harness coming out here. Well, coming in exactly. And uh, we have some uh, parallel wiring on this uh, grey unit, the three way, way yellow wires are in parallel. So I guess it may be a three phase power supply to the gyro motor. We have black wiring which is also in a parallel for each one. The only single wire is the white one. So it looks like it may be the output. About these other units, we have, it seems, uh, parallel wiring here, here, and here, and the two single wires, which may be output. So here we have uh, serial number, uh, model number, and the serial number. It seems it is for uh, 15 Gs of acceleration. Here, uh, serial number also for these units. Okay, now I will... Uh, last thing. Here we have two uh, power resistors. Not uh, very interesting. Okay, now I will uh, unscrew this uh, one of, of each. And we will try to have a look inside. Okay, so first about this gyro uh, unit here. I did remove the screws, so yes, it is coming off. I do not want to cut the wires, so I will try to move the it links here all the way back, then I will be able to remove the cover. It should be good enough, like so. So we have two covers. As you can see, so first one, I believe this one, there is a seal here. But if I remember correctly, I did already remove it. So maybe I can just loosen it a little bit, like so. Did we come off? No. So, 
guys, we will uh, open the seal. No choice here. Put a screwdriver in it, and until you find the head screw, you screw the head. The head of the screw. This one is too big. See if I can put back this thing in shape before I install it. If not, I will not put it back in place. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we have one screw removed here, and we have other ones all around. If I use a torque screwdriver for slotted screw, it will not work. Definitely not a good idea. So two screws. Two other ones. And guys, for the first time ever, I will have a look in this, under this cover. The other cover of the seal is uh, broken, so I did already probably have a look at the other side, but not here. So, wow, guys, it is cute as you can see. Very, very cute. It may deserve uh, flicker photos even. Maybe I will unsolder these wires and. Uh, I will be able to uh, put the device on display. So here we have the gyro wheel, ball bearing here on this side. Yes, as you can see, I was right. The yellow wires go inside the gyro wheel, it seems. So it is the power supply for the gyro wheel. The other wires go at this, uh, on this side. So it is a really, really beautiful thing here. Now, if I remove these screws, we will have a view, probably to the um, sensing uh, side for generating uh, output, some kind of output signal. So what do we have? We have one uh, potentiometer in fact. As you can see, do you see? Yes, it is in the frame. So we have a very tiny wire wound potentiometer with tiny, tiny, tiny wiper wires here. Some uh, articulation here, as you can see, ball joint. So yes, in fact, it is a single axis accelerometer. Oh no, excuse me, gyroscope. So really, really interesting. Here is a complete uh, view of the system for you. Yes, it moves on this axis. And it will uh, impact uh, this uh, potentiometer. So really, and it is really nicely made. Okay, so we put back this one together and we will have a look at the other units. Okay, so just two details before we open this unit. Uh, I did receive the thing in this exact condition with already uh, the open cover on the missing uh, gyro. So I do not know if the gyro was uh, salvaged for repairing, uh, to uh, repairing another uh, unit. Or uh, if someone did just want to tinker with it and have a look uh, in it. And about the dead code on the resistors are 1982. 
Okay, now I did unscrew this uh, unit here. Same thing, we have uh, two covers. I need to slide the heat shrinks in order to be able to remove the cover. So first we have a look at this top one, I guess. Is there is something quite uh, delicate to remove. It is a slotted nut. You need to remove it with a uh, little very fine uh, pliers or uh, some uh, kind of needle as here. And I do already know it will be a real pain to pack back in place this thing. Here we are, very, very small. Now we have how many? One screw here, so it should be easy enough. And two screws on the back cover, which is uh, damaged by the opening action of the case, sadly. So here, what do we have? I try to slide this cover as far as possible. But it is not easy. So it looks like it is more or less the same uh, thing. It's really not easy on this one. Yes, we have a moving part with uh, back here uh, wire one potentiometer and. Uh, ball joint here. So it is quite uh, similar on this side at least. Over side we have just a view of a wire one potentiometer. So at least uh, this uh, back cover will be easier to remove completely. And will allow to see the inside better. Okay, we have uh, uh, this part is mounted uh, on uh, ball bearings here, so it moves on this axis. Yes, it is coherent with this uh, arrows here. So I believe what it does Yes, with uh, acceleration, it is pushed by the inertia, it's inertia on uh, one axis, and it must uh, allow to measure the rate of acceleration. By the way, it moves a very, very little bit, not more than this, one degree maybe, something like so. And uh, here we have some contact which uh, seems to be attracted by a moving uh, part inside here. Quite weird, but I cannot see much in fact, so cannot give you more details. We have um, here unwritten serial number which is masking this one, stamped on the cover, of course. And it is all for this little unit. You can see the very nice uh, cover over the bearings here, with uh, free screws. Here is the back side, and sadly I can really not do much to remove this front cover. It is getting stuck in here, and oh, maybe like so, yes, it is better. So it is exactly the same setup, so the other one, as you can see, three, uh, two sets of three uh, tiny wipers, we are one resistor, and the moving part, like so. Okay, so now. I know it will be a pain to put back together. Of course. So we'll probably finish it off camera. 
but before it, I am something else to show you of the same uh, kind of device. We have two more units here, and if I remember correctly, I did receive them in the same uh, at the same time of uh, than this thing. It was uh, a bag of uh, Soviet missile parts on eBay. So this, it is the remains of uh, something else, so we call it disassembled. But it seems to be another kind of uh, accelerometer with a weight here, brass weight at the back. Each side we have uh, six uh, free ball bearings guiding this uh, metal rod. And here you can see again wire wound potentiometer with very tiny wipers which are broken by the way on this thing. So it is one of them. Other one I did uh, open it myself with a metal saw. So as you can see we have one uh, axis written here. Unwritten model on serial numbers. Still uh, Soviet made. On the other side lots of uh, contacts which are connected through very very tiny wires to the inner part behind this uh, metal cover. But I do not understand at all how this works because I will show you the inside. If I remove this it comes in three parts. Here at the back we have magnets. It seems to be neodymium magnets but they are uh, fixed and they do not move. So this part does not move. Here we have this part with uh, precision uh, needles to, uh, so this must be able to rotate in some kind. Uh, you can see we have a flat cause here which uh, fit the gap around the magnet here, like so. Inside here I do not know what we have. And here at the back we have the contacts matching these holes here and actually these uh, contacts add the very fine wires soldered here on them. So it was like so and it cannot move or it can only move very little bit. Maybe it is what it was uh, doing, in fact. It was allowed to move a very little bit with uh, flex uh, wires here. And here we can see some kind of uh, motor uh, stator setup, probably. With here a uh, magnetic uh, core made of uh, metal plates. Okay, so it will be two times during this video I am interrupted by the doorbell. Where was, what was I saying? Yes, we have here uh, some kind of magnetic uh, core made of stamp metal plates matching here this kind of uh, rotor uh, stator. Motor stator probably with uh, coils winded around. There are screws here, but Really, even if I remove them, I will go nowhere because we have a solder seal all around here. So yes, I think the, it was just allowed to move a very little bit like so. Maybe we can see if I remove this, yes. It is well because by the way, if you move it all the completely uh, on one side the contacts will uh, touch this uh, metal part and will be all in short circuit so if it was allowed to move it was a very slight uh, angle without touching the sides it is really a weird setup we have here Set screws with um, probably for a counterweight 
what do we have else? We have three wires going inside here and two wires going traveling to the this part and connecting this uh, set of coils which are mounted in a serial serial set of coils, maybe there are two sets yes but they are connected of a series of two set of three coils so there must be something else inside but as you can see it is completely sealed with solder so maybe I will open it one day, I will see ok, so I will put this uh, back together now thanks for watching, bye bye